Hey everybody, this is Robot here, Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, ScooterWest.com, leading supplier here in North America for all things Vespa. Today we got two black GTSs, or GTV is one of them over here, and a GTS. They're both very unique, they're both black, and they're both highly customized, one more so than the other. In this video I'm gonna feature mostly bolt-on black accessories, that we uh, pretty much did for this, this build here. Most of the stuff is bolt-on stuff that we have available on our website, scooterwest.com. So you can do this at home to your new scooter. This is a 2018 GTS 300 Super. And I've done some other videos on the 2018 and some of the small subtle differences they've had through, through the years and up till the 2018. But today I'm gonna talk about the black stuff on it. So I'm gonna start with the bolt-on parts that we put on the scooter, starting from the rear of the scooter and moving towards the front. Starting in the rear, we got our bolt-on tail light, and that's custom smoked. And we'll have the part numbers all listed in the description. We have the black custom trim, trim ring that goes around the, the tail light. Normally that's chrome. The whole set of four turn signals that are all smoked out. And again, if, if you're concerned with, about visibility, you can always put the much brighter LED bulbs so they, they kind of put, put extra lumens out to illuminate through the lenses. You know, keep in mind, some, some jurisdictions, states, counties, countries, whatever, there, there may be some legality to smoking out your lenses and not having them the, stat, you know, the factory clear and red as they normally are. But most people want customs. They know the risk there. I've never heard of really any problems as long as the lights are lighting up nice and bright, you should be okay. Uh, back here, this, the standard chrome badge has been replaced with a super sport badge. It's, it's not necessarily black, but you call it like a black chrome. It's, it's a chrome plated badge with like a, like kind of a, a translucent black clear coat per se that's over top of it. Um, going down, there's the belt cover and a center cap. Both of those have been powder coated custom. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, the belt cover that we sell on our website, it's in a semi-gloss um, black. And they call it Vulcan black or an eggshell black. Uh, this is a high gloss black on this cover, which was a custom um, powder coat job. You can do everything from a wrinkle finish, um, different sheens, different amounts of texture with powder coats, a pretty neat finish. Uh, the center cap is custom painted gloss black. Not featured on the scooter, but this oil pan that shows through, it's pretty inexpensive. And you could replace that part with the black powder coated version. Of course, you're gonna need the gasket, you're gonna need the drain, the engine oil to change that part out versus changing the belt cover is pretty simple. You know, they say take the screws and fasteners to hold the belt cover off on. Uh, moving up towards the front, got the black bar ends, they're just the standard bar ends. And this is that Vulcan black. You can see it has a small amount of texture and orange peel to it. Um, and that's just, it's not quite the sheen of the gloss that's found on the belt cover. Uh, these are the factory OEM style levers. They bolt up just like the stock levers. The only difference is they're, they're black, blacked out pair of mirrors, the MR25-IA, those are a very popular option for us. They're originally off the Aprilia Tuono. I've seen them, I'm throwing my BMW F800GS. I've seen them on a, a lot of different motorcycles. They look pretty sharp. Um, they're not quite as wide as the stock mirrors, so if you're gonna lane split, such as in California or the rest of the world, you know that might, may benefit you having the mirrors that are tucked in. Still have great visibility. I've used these mirrors on several occasions um, on customers' bikes and also on many of our custom builds as well. Um, going on to the front, it's got the same matching four inch black chrome badge, the pair of turn signals. I mean, the, the turn signals are a complete set. Um, we have also the, the Euro style turn signals. I have an in integral running light built into them also in a black tent. Again, look in the description and you'll find the part numbers. Two parts that we custom painted that we don't have available at this time. 
you know, what is it, June 2018. Maybe we'll have them available soon on the website. Put them in our, um, our queue for a custom black painting is this, the grills. On the 2018 GTS they have, or GTS 300 Super, those are normally red. Um, they've, they've changed them. A lot of times they're chrome on other models. Uh, black those out so they kind of match. Pretty cool, they kind of add a little shape to the grill by just blacking them out, even though it kind of makes, makes that grill recede, you know. Uh, down here, the stock style um, fender crest been gloss blacked out. Going back towards the rear, we got the foot pegs, been a popular option. They're completely blacked out. You see the brackets all blacked out as well. Onto the muffler, it's just a stock muffler. Not only is the, the shield blacked out, there's black stainless steel hardware on there too. It's identical to the stock hardware. It's just got a black sheen to it, you know, black oxide on the, um, the stainless steel. It's a real thin coat. There's stainless steel hardware, so it's not gonna rust. Uh, customer opted not to have any of the reflectors, so the holes that fill the reflectors have been filled with our part R plugs. And we sell those both in painted finish and just the unpainted. They're pretty inexpensive when they're unpainted. The unpainted ones work perfectly fine on a black GTS, whether it's a satin black, uh, the 300 Super Sport, or just the gloss black uh, Super. So, um, customer opted to go with different tires on the scooter. You can see they're one size up. That's a 140, 70, 12. So you get a slight overdrive, technically a little bit higher toss speed. Uh, at the expense of a little bit more drag on the engine and just ever so slightly slower off the line. Um, I think in the front they went one size up on there, a 130, 70, 12. Uh, no problems installing those tires. They don't rub on the fenders. Pretty simple upgrade, you know, considering you're just using the stock rims, which I, I like how the 2018 edition rims, they're the same rims they've been using since the GT125 and 200 came out, the same style. Um, nothing spectacular looking. The five spoke kind of classic design at this point, but they've dressed them up with a, the two-tone finish, the spun aluminum edge. Again, that's factory on a, um, a GTS. And the last blacked out custom little deal we did here is we put that badge and it's completely blacked out. And so what that is, is we took an acetone and wiped the, the paint finish off the original badge and just shot a, a, a clear coat with a black pigment in it. And it kind of gives it kind of a mirrored finish. Um, the badge we do have available on our website, scooterwest.com. Over here is just, it's a stock factory brand new badge, but with a, a black pigmented clear coat and it looks really sharp. Uh, watch our next video, it's probably gonna be a video before or after this video I'm making about this scooter. It's got some, I had some very specific uh, requests from the customer and we were able to satisfy those requests and we'll talk about that. Uh, again, look in the description for all the part numbers. You can find all those parts on our website. Super easy to make your own bike look like this, especially if it's a black bike, you kind of get the idea of how it looks when you black out everything on it. Uh, until next time, it's Robot here, Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, scooterwest.com, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Vespa Motorsport. Follow me on Instagram, Robot Vespa. I sometimes throw up photos of custom builds that we're working on.